It was in the small town of Mandeville that Gail Gill grew up, with friends, with family, and with a strong sense of community and culture, qualities that would guide Gail along on her way to becoming one of Mandeville's favorite daughters. Gail excelled in school in both academics and extracurricular activities. She was involved in many clubs, the yearbook, newspaper staff, pep squad, girl state, student council, beta club, just to name a few. She was even selected as the Queen of Mandeville High's crew of Neptune. Gail graduated with honors in 1967, along with 42 other classmates, the largest class to graduate from Mandeville High at that time. Her senior class quote was, nothing is impossible for the willing. Gail Gill would prove this quotation true many times over in her career. Gail began teaching in Jefferson Parish, met and married Cliff Sloan, and returned back to the North Shore to build a home and a career in St. Tammany Parish. After a year at Shataima, Gail transferred to Mandeville Middle School, where she moved from classroom teacher to resource helping teacher, to assistant principal, and then to principal. Gail would then become supervisor, assistant superintendent, and finally superintendent with each career move. Superintendent Sloan used her experience, wisdom, and vision to lead the school system on its journey from good to great. All the while, her passion, drive, and commitment to her work was fueled by her love for children. Gail absolutely loved the children, and she wanted to make sure that any child who stepped foot in Mandeville Middle School left with a Class A education. She was always in the classrooms. You could see her in the hallways, out at recess, a lot of places that she didn't have to be, but she wanted to be with those students. She listened to the students. She listened to the teachers. And she provided a lot of professional development for us. And I think, again, it's because she truly cared. She cared about the system as a whole. She cared about us individually. And she wanted to make us the best educators that we could be for our kids. She honored the students with, they wanted to have a bank, we had a bank. They wanted more arts, we got more arts. She really brought that into the school system. Um, that is when discipline-based art education um, was coming around. We all went, she made sure that we, you know, we knew the artists, we were teaching art history to the kids. Even now, I do see glimpses of that in our schools, and especially those of us who learned under Gale, um, the administrators, you can still see that in their schools. I can remember when she had an idea, um, share fair. It was a time when our teachers made lessons for other teachers, not just in Mandeville, not just in St. Tammany, but in the state. Many teachers came from around the state to Mandeville Middle School to listen to Mandeville Middle School teachers and the lessons they had developed, the skills that they could pass on to other teachers. So Share Fair started about 14 years ago um, here at Mandeville Middle School. A group of teachers got together and decided that they wanted to provide professional development for their teachers. And it really was the inspiration for the Summer Institute. You know, so that was another thing that she put into play, but again, it goes with that. She was a visionary. Gail um, was just someone who loved her job and it wasn't a job to Gail it was it was her heart and soul she loved those students she loved all of the faculty and truly cared about what went on in Mandeville Middle and she is someone who I will always remember as having her heart in the game one of the highest honors you can get as an educator is to have a school named after you and I think Gail Sloan is very deserving of receiving this honor. She was at Mandeville Middle from the very beginning, and she was there a long, long time. And she just lent so much to the school system, especially that school. She gave her blood, sweat, and tears to that school. And I, I just think it's fitting. I couldn't think of anybody else who would be deserving to have a school named after them. Most of us in education are not in it for the money. We're in it for feeling that we're part of something bigger than ourselves and that we are making a difference in the lives of children. And that's what's so rewarding and satisfying about this work we do.